Welcome to another episode of Barman Saturdays, and I decided it was time to return to the Airbud Simac universe by taking a look at Spice Buddies, because everything's bigger and better when you do it in Spice. But as far as the film itself is concerned, it's a very meh title, you know. It's one of those movies you see in the bargain bin by the truckload, and no one's buying it, because it's too expensive for what it is. And what it is, is a cheap comedic romp that for the most part just doesn't really work that well. I mean, what does a bad comedy film have to fall back on? Well, nothing, basically, because the plot itself is meant to be at least a joke with how, you know, absurd it is in a lot of cases. So you can't really get invested, you know, in a serious plot line. You, like, bite your nails in suspense or tension, you know, like, what's going to happen to the hero? Instead, you know, like, just banging your head waiting for them to tell at least a funny joke again. Or, you know, drop a fart at least. Mine's a little too tight. Someone give me a paw. Don't pull this paw! So, yeah, Space Buddies is just a very meh, boring title for me. I mean, it does seem to reveal that there's a plot line they follow when it comes to these Buddies films, at least. Based on, you know, the similarities between this one and Snow Buddies at the start, where the various Buddies all gather together to follow the kids on, like, a school trip or something, get into trouble, like, get stuck on a spaceship, get stuck in an ice cream truck, whatever, end up in some other location, and then they have to somehow make their way home, or the kids have to find them. So it also feels like they're ripping off Homeward Bound to a certain extent, though I'm pretty sure that's also owned by Disney, so I guess they're free to do that if they want to. So, yeah, I, I honestly couldn't recommend, you know, watching Space Buddies for people of, like, any age, really. I mean, there are far worse movies to watch. But at the same time, those meh, boring, failed comedies are the worst films to watch sometimes. Because you're just going to be bored waiting for something to happen that might get a chuckle out of you. So, yeah, I, I have no love for Space Buddies. Like, it's not even a so bad film it becomes hilarious again like Freedom Force was for me. It's just meh. So next time, then. See ya. All right, one more, one more. Okay, let's go. Eleven minutes of my life. <laughs> <laughs>